Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Replay! Mega Man 3 for the NES. Now you guys knew this was coming since I already replayed the first two games. And this one was probably one of my uh, favorite Mega Man games in the NES era. That like in maybe 2 and 6. So we're just gonna hop right in. So, I pretty much deleted the old Mega Man 3 Let's Play, even though it just took views off my actual profile. Because, while the other ones I kinda kept because, well, they were... At worst, they were low quality and cringe. What I did for Mega Man 3 when I Let's Played it in 2008 was... I'm just gonna pretend that uh, Mega Man had Tourette's. And, in retrospect, that came out very, very offensive. So, <laughs> that had to go. <laughs> I'm sorry, it just did. In any case, this was probably one of my top Mega Man games of all time in the NES era. Maybe at all time in general. Because it was the first one that I personally rented, even though the first one I rented in general was at my cousin's in Labrador City, it was Mega Man 6. We rented that game along with Chippendale Rescue Rangers. And honestly, I liked Mega Man 6 more, but I think he liked Rescue Rangers more. Not that I blame him, because Rescue Rangers is also really damn good. This was also the first Mega Man game that introduced the slide. And Rush. So it brought in, like, some key staples to the Mega Man franchise that we know and love. Oh, that's fine. But yeah, this really takes me back. In fact, I streamed this game on my Twitch channel not that long ago. And I think I did so well, I might have done a Deathless run, which I hardly ever do in Mega Man 3. Even though I might have exploited a couple glitches. I could probably go over those in a moment. First, let's deal with Top Man, who's pretty much the easiest Robot Master. Well, with just the Buster. And just like that, we beat him. Alright, we're off to a swimming start. You got topspin. There, now you can play golf. Congratulations, you did it. Alright, now for Shadow Man. Whose design pretty much inspired my avatar. Yeah, my name is inspired by a race from Final Fantasy Tactics and 12. And meanwhile, my design was based on Shadow Man from Mega Man 3, so... It was all over the place, but... We just kept it. Well, I kept it. Cause who cares? Alright, oh, it's Proto Man. Eh, Turbo Button pretty much just wrecks him. When I was a kid, like, Shadow Man was probably one of the toughest Robot Masters to deal with. Because I didn't even know you had to use Top Spin. Because with the Buster, he is a brute to go against. Way too agile. Constantly just mixing up if it's gonna slide or throw shadow blades. By the time you figured out what it was, it was already too late. Okay, this is the part that can get real annoying. Top spin also works against these enemies, but there's a risk to it. 
Because if you use top spin and it does hit the enemy, you'll get pushed back a little. Now, imagine doing that when you're right to the left edge of the platform. You will die. So, uh, do that with caution. Oh, it would have been nice if you dropped some health for me, but whatever. I guess I can only rely on myself. There we go. Violate each other's personal space and you will win. Not an approach you want to take in real life. That's when the restraining orders come in. Uh, I believe next is Sparkman. So let's go. And we also probably have one of the best weapons in Mega Man 3, the Shadow Blades. What makes it so good is that you can aim it. But what's also good, if you hit right and then start, you get access to the rush jet when you're not supposed to. That's one of the glitches in Mega Man 3 you could take advantage of. Like, it starts with no energy, but you can give it energy if you find it. And, well, the rest is history. Then it stays with you permanently. Wait, is it Rush Jet or is it Rush Marine? Whatever is adjacent to it. Well, no, it's probably Rush Jet, because we already got Rush Marine. Duh. Probably not gonna be the one you already have. So it's kind of a weird thing you can do. If you don't believe me, watch. So we got no energy on this now. So just take out an enemy and wait for it to drop weapon energy and then take it. Now watch the glitch in action. We have Rush Jet when we're not supposed to. And I think it's, it stays with you permanently, too. So we don't even have to go to Needle Man stage to grab it. Imagine. Man, people went out of their way to find out how to break things in Mega Man games. Did a hell of a job at it, too. Oh, that was almost a mistake of mine. I think I should stick to Shadow Blades. Whoa, okay, that was... That was mighty careless. Yeah, I think if I had the Rush Jet with more energy, I would've just, like, skipped that part. <laughs> I mean, that's what I would've done. I mean, why not use your ill-gotten gains to good use? So, I believe what I normally do... Normally, I would just go to Magna Man stage right now. But, legitimately, I learned this little pattern, or this boss order, when I played this game for an SVG marathon, like Sandbox Gaming Marathon. And we had to, like, optimize our routes to finish games fast. One of the guys suggested 
why not just try to get Rush Jet before you go to Magnet Man's level? So in order for me to do that, I don't want to face Needle Man with the Buster only. That is something I would not wish on anyone. Well, I guess, I guess I did the glitch wrong, so Rush Jet is still not in my inventory. Maybe I didn't give it enough energy. That's fine. You can only be ill-gotten for one stage. I just wanted to show you how it worked. Here's another glitch. This just saves you a few seconds, and it breaks the music. Pretty neat, huh? <laughs> just the simple things you can do in this game. Also, I think Shadow Blades cannot break these eggs. No, they can't. Do I want to try for that? There could be an E tank. But it also might not be. Actually, I could shoot them from this side. This works. Alright, if this is not an E tank, I'm gonna be disappointed. Ah, oh, it's weapon energy, the worst thing I could ask for. Rip. Big rip. <laughs> We can make this jump without using the rush coil, but why bother? Oh yeah, the uh, sliding glitch also breaks these uh, big enemies. They're supposed to be giant penguins. And now they're just a giant mass of metal. Alright, now that we've got the Rush Marine, let's put it to good use. Rush Marine is just like... It's Rush Jet, but in the water. However, you could also use the Rush Jet underwater. So it's just kind of pointless. Oh, there's an E-Tank. How many E-Tanks do I have? I have two. I uh, hope I get health here. No, I don't. Hmm. Shadow Blades kind of work on Gemini Man? Not as well as the snakes? Um, I'm probably gonna get hit, but I bet I won't and I'll have wasted the E-Tank. To tell you the truth, I kind of wanted to get hit. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Mega Man 3 usually has you ending the game with too many E-Tanks. So using one here is no big deal. Uh, next we gotta go to Needleman's level. Let's do that now. This one's also a pain in the ass to deal with, Buster only. I've done it! I've done all the Mega Man 3 Robot Masters among any others. Buster only, and no charge shots. 
years and years and years ago. Man, that that's something I rather take some of that time back, because some of them took like well over an hour of three attempts. Shadow Man especially. Same with a uh, Bright Man. Because a lot of it can be RNG based. But I mean, at least I show that I was able to do it. Could I ever do it again? Ah, uh, some of them I still could. The question is, do I want to? And... With as much time I have in my life, the answer is no. Like, I had more free time back then. Oh, I was facing the wrong way. Silly Mega Man. Says the guy controlling you. Okay, I usually try the first attack with the Buster, because... His AI doesn't do anything until he's shot at. I try to keep the Gemini laser on screen as less as possible. Because you can't pause or fire again until it's gone. Where's our needle cannon? More importantly, there's our legit rush jet. We're actually allowed to use it this time. Now let's take on Magnet Man. I've heard there were some weird glitches with a Magnet Man's level. That if you fall into a pit while a magnet is just flying above you, you don't instantly die. I don't know how accurate that is. I could be talking out of my ass like I always do. I'm not going to demonstrate it either, so you just have to take my word for it. As hollow as it may be. Alright, this is the stage you really want the rush jet. And probably more than half of you watching this video already know why. It is something you don't even need to see, you only need to hear. Oh, that's too close. This is also the most broken rush jet in the game. Because it moves with you. And if you keep jumping, you're not technically on it, so you don't lose any rush at jet energy. That's kind of broken. But hey, if it works, it works. Capcom really realized that people were nerf using it way too much. That's why I got nerfed heavily in the other games. Alright, this guy's a pushover. He only has two attacks. And he does them after going from side to side. Alright, now we got the Magnet Missiles. Alright, we can go to Snake Man or Hard Man. I'd say we go to Hard Man. Oh, 
Oh, now you gotta deal with the wasps. Have fun. I wonder if the top spin also helps. Nope, you, you just use them all. Nope, this just made things worse. Ah, shoot. And I need some of that weapon energy to deal with the uh, gorillas in this level. Topspin usually mer melts them. And without the topspin, I had to fight them legit. That's not good. I feel like I made a critical error there. Yeah, see? Look how easily they get annihilated with your uh, top spin. Enemies that otherwise would have taken several shots. Now we can actually move forward a lot faster. There we go! Another E-Tank for us. And now we're outside again. Oh, they just spawn right there too. Turning from left to right while standing still feels kind of stiff in Mega Man 3. I don't know, it just feels kind of off to me. Like sometimes it just won't always work. Or it's hard man time. A man that's so hard, he can freeze you into the air even if you're already in the air. That's how heavy he is. Alright, the hard knuckles. Not exactly my favorite weapon to use because of how slow they are. But they have another use. So it's on to Snake Man for last. And then we gotta deal with the dock bots. Oh. That was poorly timed. I watched a VTuber play uh, Mega Man 3, and she had this theory that Snake Man's level. He's kind of messed up because Snake Man is just in a level that's just made out of snakes. So it's made out of himself. It's like the gingerbread man in the gingerbread house theory. It's just kind of messed up when you think of it through that lens. Oh jeez, they really think you're gonna get beat up here, so they give you two large energies. I mean, I took hits, but not that many. You gotta give me more credit than that. Okay, this is not Mega Man 5, so don't expect a lot of extra lives to be dropped from enemies. That's just how it is. we got here. Two things that I do not care for. So I guess we'll just move on. That's it. Alright, just shot its jaw off. Ooh, 
Whoop. That's a jump you can easily die in if you do it too early. I think around here is usually when I start using, using the rush jet. Just so you can speed this part up. Otherwise, you have to jump on these platforms, or these cloud platforms that pop up from the from the uh, I guess the silos, and then deal with these cloudy bullet bills. Oh, what? Are, oh yeah, needle cannon. This one should be a cinch. By anyway. Again? Wow, I missed so many shots in a row. That was kind of sloppy. And we got the search snake. Sorry, no password for you. We gotta keep things moving. And now for the Dogbot levels, which are absolutely brutal. So they're just remixed versions of levels you've already done. And you got two bosses to deal with. One after the other. Although there's several rooms apart. I guess I can understand why they did it that way instead of having like one dock bot per stage. Because it probably would have been too big of a game if they had eight dock bot stages instead of four. But it makes you wonder what the uh, harder versions of like, say, Snake Man, Hard Man, Top Man, and Magnet Man could have been like. We may never know now. Oh, good. Uh, magnet missiles are weak against the Metal Man Dog Bot. So it's just Mega Man 2 bosses, but harder. And like a larger sprite you have to work around. <laughs> the way I just jump while I'm standing still... ...in like a neutral stance, that's funny. Alright, you don't get a checkpoint until you at least beat the first one. It's a good thing we got it now. Nice, got through there in time. Okay, this is... This is a long hallway. I don't care what you're gonna drop. I'll just drop you. Ooh, kinda lagged a little bit, but that's to be expected. Alright, Gemini laser is what you need here, and this fight sucks with it. Oh, that's probably the fastest I got through that fight ever. Got lucky with my lasers. Now let's do Needleman's level.
This one is not so bad. But as a kid, I did struggle with parts of it. Especially if I didn't have enough rush jet energy. Because it's mandatory to get through this stage. I'm not getting that now. Nope, I'll be needing it again for this. Just right, make sure I have enough of it saved as possible. Okay. This one is Airman, and I believe I need Spark Shot. Ah, shoot. Yeah, I don't think you can actually go behind this boss to just start spamming spark shots like you could in two. So you pretty much had to be right there. Parts of it were a little bit easier because you could actually slide. But you could not do it too. Now I need help badly too. Even worse, I need help now. I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, you'll get help, it's just gonna fall. And you have to watch it fall. Which makes it even worse for you. Oh. It's actually flying from that way. At least give me something for health. Anything at all. Good lord. Nope, I guess I'll have to make do. I want to use the E-Tank. Ah, an extra life ain't bad. But it's not health. I kind of want to keep this life going. Okay, that's a little bit better. All oh, right, I gotta use Hard Knuckle on this boss. This is gonna be dreadful. I didn't use the E-Tank, but yeah, you can see what I mean, why this fight sucks with Hard Knuckle. Because <laughs> you have to do it really close. Alright, now for Gemini Man's level. Uh, should I use Shadow Blades here? I, I guess I should for these enemies. I just found it weird they had a different color palette for here. But I think they're one of the only enemies that had that. Despite being in the same level. Alright, so far so good. Oh, hoo -hoo. 
close one. Uh, what is that there? Weapon energy, oh, fine, I'll take it. See what's over there. So I'm willing to spend an extra few seconds. <laughs> Did you see that? That's kind of funny. Is there? Okay, I'm coming. Wait for me. Okay, you, you don't need Rush Coil until later, actually. So anyway, I just started blasting. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, there's already three of these around, so the rest of the eggs don't sh shoot more. Needle cannon that I need for this boss? I think it is. <sighs> what a miserable boss. Because of that garbage. I know, I'm kind of molding about a boss I've already beaten, but still. It's just not a good boss to fight. There we go. Rush shit, it just works as fine in the water. So it just makes... Rush Marine kind of worthless. Since they fulfill the same purpose. How's Rush Jet doing? Ah, oh, it's fine. You're gonna find out why I'm wondering about Rush Jet, even though I'm near the end of the stage. So let's just hop right in. I don't want Rush Jet available now. Why do you splash when you go in there? It's already water. See this? Because I'm not touching the ground, its attack pattern does not reset. So I can start shooting. You're supposed to use Shadow Blades, but just using the Rush Jet glitch works too. As long as you still have enough energy for it. for Shadow Man's level. Save the worst for last. Did you know I use this background for at least the second screen for my Bonga vs. Capcom streams? I thought it made sense. Made sense to me and that's all that matters. Oh, I hate these platforms. Especially when you gotta deal with them over bottomless pits, so... 
we're gonna protect our mental health and not do that. Wait, did I pick up the weapon energy? How did I do that? I thought it fell down. How did that happen? That is so weird. Well, who am I to complain? The needle cannon works well against Woodman Dogbot as well. This is the worst one! Because the leaf shield... The leaf shield circumference is way wider than it was in 2. To the point that sometimes I found it nearly impossible to jump over. No matter how well I timed it. And you almost have to be, what, maybe frame perfect to do it? While dealing with the giant leaves at the same time? It's just a hassle. Way more than it needs to be. Right, I'm gonna speed this up to... Up there in the corner. Hey, you fall up to your molten death, you fiend. There, are uphill, no weapons. Okay, health is not looking great. I think I can make do with hitting its weakness. Ah, uh, E tank. You know what? Let's use the E tank. <sighs> now, love video games where contact damage does way more damage than an actual weapon. And now for Breakman. Take a break, man. Oh no. Right after we received the last element. Why we ran off with Gamma. Megan's like, what's Gamma? Well, at least you're not out in space doing that. Head would just explode. Uh, I think I have enough extra lives, so we can skip that one. But at least there's one you can get for free. E tanks I will not be skipping out on. Not even on a bet. Took a bit of damage to penguins, but that's okay. Yeah, hard knuckles can break these barriers, by the way. Who ever thought that fisting can break barriers? What a life lesson for us all. You want me to explain? No! I will not explain any further. Take my word for it. Yeah, hard knuckles take them out in one hit. But you have to be so close to take advantage of it. Alright, that worked. Wait, and then we go. I mean, that didn't seem like much of a threat, so we could have just 
dealt with it that way. And now the toidles. That robot stores all its vital chips inside these turtles. Then it launches outside at will. Why does it? I don't know. It just does. And somehow that makes it explode if you take out the last one. Alright, second stage. Pretty sure there's some goods you can get around on one of the sides. I'll get that one. Alright, we're in a good spot throughout the rest of the game, I'm sure. Oh damn, another extra life! Oh god, the wasp leg! What do I need? Probably more rush jets. More shadow blades. Really, I should be using the Hard Knuckle for the next boss, but I got more than enough. Oh, I got stuck there. Okay, now we're good. I gotta deal with Yellow Devil Mark II. With estrogen. Oh, that was dumb. Shouldn't have jumped there. Oh, I thought I was gonna get a second hit there. It's living its best life. You know, all 30 seconds of it. Because it's dealing with us now. Wow, that was, that was terrible. It's almost downed. Two more hard knuckles should be enough. Ah, oh, so close. That was way too many cycles. I usually take it out in less cycles than this. But at least I didn't get hit by that hard to dodge pattern. But you gotta slide to do it. Is there an item on the right side or the left side? Okay, lots of weapon energy here. I haven't used up too many weapons. So, kinda alright there. Hard Knuckles, not so much. Should I go back for that? You know what, I will go back for that. Oh, that's... Not gonna be annoying to see it go light and dark every time. get to the one part that's only used in this game with the moving platforms going left to right and vice versa. 
never see it in any other part of this game. I'm gonna smash that even if I don't know what is in these. Both of it weapon energy. Um Mega Missile, I guess. Let me get the snakes ready for the next boss. Did you blink? If you did, you missed the boss. <laughs> Got its crap pushed all the way in. That wasn't even close. Now all my weapons should be full. Oh yeah, these uh, drones or these robots can still throw their weapons even if you already beat them. What a great concept. I ran into it like a dumbass. So now we should be on to the boss rush part of the game. This shouldn't be too hard, and there's a reason for that. You know that each boss in Mega Man 3 has their own weakness, right? But did you also know that all Robot Masters in Mega Man 3 are weak against their own weapon? All eight of them are. So if you don't want to use their required weakness, just use your own weapon against them. And it just destroys them. Amazing. Especially if their actual weakness is just a terrible weapon to use. Alright. You're next. The ladies also call me hard man. That's all that matters to me. Yeah, this guy's actual weakness is hard, Knuckle. So you understand why I'm using the buster here. <laughs> gotcha. Shadow Man. I guess I can use the Shadow Blades on you. Nice! That's a clean fight. No! I was gonna take that! That's what I get for fighting on the teleporter. Yeah, you can lose out on getting the health. Wait, why would I even bother to go and get the uh, health for the last one? Because when you end the stage, you go back to full health anyway. So it's pointless. What do I need? I don't think I'll need Mega Missiles for the boss, but... Hell with it.
Alright, get the spark ready. That's what I should have been filling up. You only need it for, like, the first part of the fight. Shoot out its Venus. And then... You could use the Hard Knuckle. Or... To preserve your sanity, just... Rush Jet! Oh my god, look at the health meters. The game cannot handle it. I always thought Wily was crazy, but this takes the cake. Um, we can just leave all this. Screw it. Oh, hey, it's Gamma. That we never see ever again. Not to my knowledge. Alright, next you need the top spin. And then you win! There you go! <laughs> Just like that! Under an hour. Where's Dr. Wiley? Oh no, too late. Surely he actually passed away in this game. There were no other Mega Man games after this. Mega Man, you regain consciousness. I found you lying here when I arrived. I wonder who brought you here. This whistle. It must have been Proto Man. Okay, I don't want to listen to it anymore. Alright, so we do like this little reel of all the robots Dr. Light created. The ones from Mega Man 1. And it usually comes with a revelation at the end. Yep, it was the brother of Mega Man, Proto Man. He becomes a recurring character in later games. And there we go, that's it! That's Mega Man 3 for the NES. Nice to get back into this game. Again, one of my favorites on the NES. So, would I recommend this? If you're a Mega Man fan, you definitely gotta give this one a try. Although it may not be for everyone. Everyone has their own favorites, whether it be 2, 4, 5, 6, maybe even 1. But to each their own. I just like this one. That's one of the one I played more as a kid. Although probably 2 I played the most as a kid. Like, it's a toss-up between, like, two and three. So, anyway, this is the Bonga signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, stay tuned for my next Let's Play, or replay. Whatever may be coming up in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. So let's just enjoy the rest of the credits while we still have it.
Oh, by the way, I just did a Deathless run of Mega Man 3 again. How about that? 